friends now we have to solve the equations 27 upon x minus 2 plus 31 upon y plus 3 is equal to 85 and 31 upon x minus 2 plus 27 upon y plus 3 is equal to 89 friends see carefully these two, two equations are given but these equations are non-linear so first we have to convert these equations in linear form so that we can solve them properly to find values of variables friends don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you will get our next videos now see solution friends first we have to change variables so that these non-linear equations will become linear let 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to a this is our assumption 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to a and 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to b substituting these assumptions in given equation we get 27 a plus 31 b is equal to 85 our first equation become 27a plus 31b is equal to 85. Consider this as statement number 1. And second equation become 31a plus 27b is equal to 89. Let us consider this equation as statement number 2. Now, see these two equations carefully. In equation 1, coefficient of a is 27 and same is given in equation for variable b 27 in equation 1 coefficient of b is 31 and same is given for variable a in equation 2 in such type of problem we have to first add these two equations then we have to subtract these two equations in adding after addition we will get one new equation that is number 3 after subtraction we will get one more equation that is 4 and then 3 and 4 equations we have to solve we can solve them easily because of their easy form now see how now first adding equations 1 and 2 we get 27a plus 31b is equal to 85 equation 1 plus 31a plus 27b is equal to 89 adding these two equations we get 27a plus 31a that is 58a plus 31b plus 27b that is 58b is equal to 85 upon 89 174 therefore dividing both the sides by 58 as a common factor we get a plus b is equal to 174 upon 58 that is 3 let us consider this equation as number 3. Now, subtracting equations 2 from 1, we get equation first 27a plus 31b is equal to 85 minus equation second 31a plus 27b is equal to 89. Here, we have to use minus sign for subtraction. So, sign of second uh, equation means each term of second equation will change so subtracting these two equations we get twenty seven a minus thirty one a that is minus four a plus thirty one b minus twenty seven b that is four b is equal to eighty five minus eighty nine minus four Therefore, dividing both the sides by 4, we get minus a plus b is equal to minus 1. We will consider this equation as number 4. Now, we have two new equations, 3 and 4. These new equations are comparatively easy and simple than 1 and 2. So, now instead of 1 and 2, we have to solve equation 3 and 4 to find the values of variables a and b first and then by using these values we can find values of original variables x and y so adding equations 3 and 4 we get 
a plus b is equal to 3. This is equation number 3. Plus minus a plus b is equal to minus 1. This is equation number 4. Adding these two equations, we get my a minus a cancel each other. b plus b, that is 2b, is equal to, in the right hand side, 3 minus 1, that is 2. Therefore, dividing both the sides by 2, we get b is equal to 1. Substituting this value of b is equal to 1 in equation 3, we get a is equal to 3 minus b, that is 3 minus 1, that is 2. A is equal to 2. Now, A is our assumption variable, assume variable. So, we have to substitute the value of A and it is 1 upon x minus 2. The original value is, original variable is 1 upon x minus 2. So, 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to 2. Cross multiplication 1 is equal to 2x minus 2 to the 4. So, solving this, we get variable x is equal to 5 upon 2. 5 upon 2. This is the value of first variable x, which is given original variable in our given problem. Now, as we know, b is equal to 1. Now we have to substitute the original value of b because b is our assumption. So its original value 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to 1. Therefore by cross multiplication we get 1 is equal to y plus 3. And therefore value of y is equal to 1 minus 3 that is minus 2. This is the value of second variable especially original variable y minus 2. Like this, we can solve such type of non-linear equations also by converting them in linear form by using new variables. Here we use a and b. So friends, solve this problem again in your notebook for your better understanding. And don't, don't forget to subscribe our channel.